In 2018, the speculative financial fund Merrose, both the GKM group, the Merrose founders got this slogan to buy, to improve, to sell. We knew that uh, meant uh, job cuts and other plans of uh, shutting down plants. They did it in GKN in Birmingham, in Mosul, in the East Germany. 9 July 21, basically we were all fired um, by mail. Since now are more than two years that we are in a permanent assembly. The factory has been saved and guarded and preserved by the same workers. The first stage between July 21 and September 21 was was against the redundancies. When we were fired, Confindustria, the industrial owner association, said, well, you have wanted the ecological transition and now you have to accept job cuts in GKN and other automotive factory. When we called for a demonstration in September 21 in Florence, where were 40,000 people participating, we succeeded in making the companies to retire the redundancies, but then we entered into a limbo because the company didn't bring back the work. Basically, we stayed in this factory abandoned by the capital. All the machineries with everything inside, a factory that is a new factory, where have been done a lot of investments in the last decade. After two weeks, there was a demonstration with 50,000 people participating in Milan for the climate camp. We went there and we find a climate movement with ears very open to our position and that immediately support us. From that moment, we created a connection with the climate movement in order to build an alternative to this vacuum. Opened completely the discussion about, okay, what, we, what do we produce and why we shouldn't restart the production in an ecological way. We presented the first industrial plan in December 21, explaining how it was possible to create an industry of public means of transport. A new private owner came and he promised to bring new investors, something that didn't happen. We suspect that it was a trick since the very first moment just to take time in order to wait the struggle to die for tiredness. Eight months of this new owner, in August 22, it was clear that there was no real will to uh, reindustrialize the factory, so we produced our own industrial plan. We formed a, a social mutual aid workers association in order to have a link between the surrounding citizens and the factory in order to help each other and in order to start some kind of self-production plan to restart the work. The answer of the ownership was to stop to pay any kind of wages. So we stayed from October 22 to July 23 without the payment of, them, of any kind of uh, wages. We are workers under contract. We cannot even appeal for unemployment benefits. A lot of people were forced to resign to look for other jobs. Now we are 200, we were 400 when we started this struggle. But uh, we also had our social mutual aid cash that we created in order at least to give assistance to the ones of us that didn't have, for example, another wage at home. And now we have made this new industrial plan based on the ideas of producing cargo bikes on one end and on the other end to produce solar panel. Of course, you cannot create a new model in just one factory. So you have to try to recover the factory using tools of the same mark, of the same capitalism. We don't give any kind of false illusion to people that we are uh, building a, a new model in one island. But we have to say that at least it's an expiring example. You have to imagine what kind of work could be if uh, we form uh, horizontal uh, energy community with this solar panel so that we can reach agreements with the community and for example we can simulate uh, the community the energy community also to form social mutual aid association in order to create mutual assistance not only about the energy but also on other 
uh, also another process of, of, of life, like for example, say psychological support, uh, credit, uh, inter, inter, interpersonally credit with no tax interest uh, in, in the community and so on. Uh, or, or for example, what we are trying to do with the cargo bikes is not just to, to have a product, but to give these cargo bikes to the networks that is fighting against the, the exploitation into the riders sector or to the, the, to the network of delivery cops that try to compete with Amazon with all the big uh, players of the delivery. We have launched a shareholder popular campaign with the goal of 1 million euro to be collected to counterbalance the pressure from the market, from the banks, from the state if we restart with the production. The reality is that this social plan, it's a way to force the public intervention because for the Italian law, if we restart the factory in this way, the, the Italian state is quite forced to put capital into the cooperative, but the cooperative still remain under worker, workers' control. They will try to do everything to stop our plan, also because probably they are interested in selling the building and doing profits on the building. In fact, now they have announced again the layoffs. So the 1st January 24, probably we will all be fired. We will have to try to mobilize again against these new layoffs. In two years, we have called five demonstrations with together 100,000 people involved. We have made two occupation. One was in the city hall, one it was in a middle-aged tower in Florence. So now we have to mobilize again, but inventing always something new.